Welcome everyone to the Tree People, Rimworld Colony. This is bound to have a horrible ending, I can already tell from the start. We have so many uh, notifications of things we're already doing wrong. We're exploring a new ideology this time that's been pre-created for me. I didn't go for fluid ideology because I'm told that that takes longer. But we're going to go ahead and try to create a Garenlin tree, uh, try-hard-ish colony. Uh, and yet, I'll be learning it as we go. I've never played this one. I've mostly just played Tunneler Ideology. Uh, collectivist. I'm going to go ahead and just display our ideology in case if anybody wants to pause and look at it for right now. Um, I still have yet to learn a lot of it. I don't know if we'll go through these relics. Again, I'm not going to be trying to go to space. I'm not going to be trying to go for a royalty playthrough. But I just kind of enjoy playing RimWorld for the intrinsic sense of reward now. Uh, so high-minded, right? Uh, we're going to... We There's all of these things that we can't do. Like, we can't mine. We can't kill animals. I guess innocent animals. Unless if the animal attacks us. In which case, we think that the animal is possessed by a demon or something. We're going to have to just spend a lot of time kind of babysitting our mood buffs and debuffs and whatnot. See, like, they're happy about the healthy trees. They're happy about wearing these turbans that they've been given. Um, they love the forest. And they also believe in sleeping outside, which is, to me, kind of crazy. I've never seen this kind of uh, garbage. Again, we're here with the stream, so uh, people might backseat a bit, which is totally fine. Um, n not like, you know, if they backseat, I'll, I'll look for or I'll ask for backseating when I need it. But we're going to go ahead and tell everybody to sleep on the ground. I, I have to examine this. Um, I, first, uh, already, I don't know why I did this. We're going to do rice. We're not going to be doing Nutrifungus. There's a lot we won't be doing. Um, my God, there's a lot of content to RimWorld now. It just amazes me. Uh, um, of course, we could go to space in a wooden rocket. <laughs> An absolutely uh, crazy observation, but true, yeah. Um, I guess we'll plant more rice. These people are going to have psychoid. This is going to be kind of like the, I don't know if you're familiar with Terrence McKenna. This could be like a Terrence McKenna colony. We found a car over here. Maybe we'll end up worshipping the car or something. Uh, it's got to happen this way. I'll, it, let me go ahead and intro our colonists just because there's so much, so much to see, so much to do. We have Nilero Bino. Uh... Everybody has some overpowered double passion. He's incapable of being social. There's nobody is so ground break, uh, game breakingly bad. We're gonna have to go ahead and roof some of this stuff too. Jesus, yeah. Let's uh, yeah. Let's just try to subject them to the horrors of nature. You know, we'll see if they if they don't mind that. We'll just give them either bed rolls or sleep. We'll do sleeping spots out in the dirt, but we do have to roof our stuff. Um, now, I'm told that they won't be bothered if we do cut down a couple of trees, but we just need to replenish them all the all of the time. Otherwise, we'll be in some doo-doo. Uh, and we do start off with a decent amount of wood. Yes, Terrence McKenna. What I'm trying to think of a good Terrence McKenna quote. I can't really think of his quotes. I just think as as a matter of listening to him too much when I was like 19... I started to talk like him or just think in that voice, you know, that like he says words like squirrely and things like that. But this is kind of that they're seeking out like what what are those plant Amanita muscaria and I or I, I don't even know how you say it. Anyway, I, I got my head out of that. I did become a vegan once when I was, I think, 19. I grew out my beard. Uh, it was actually very nice. I lived in alignment with my values. So I was going to try to see if we could make a completely ethical colony. Uh, were, there were, the trees have been disturbed. Why have the trees been disturbed? In the past, we have destroyed trees. We shouldn't have... This is a lie. I guess only because... Only because we cut down some trees to plant fields. So maybe we need to really micromanage this. We have destroyed trees. We, it might have been necessary, but it's still an occasion for sadness. Um, so I suppose that as long as we've destroyed trees sometime in the last month, they're all going to be upset. That's actually awful. And one of these guys is greedy for an impressive bedroom, like he's just put on a turban and he's trying to fit in. And yet he still wants materialistic things. This is going to be an exceedingly difficult colony, unless if we get the Gremlin trees early and they just kind of 
uh, subsume the identity of all of our other colonists. Okay, get to planting the psychoid. We're going to need a lot. Why are you destroying that tree? No. Oh, this is why. I forgot that they kill adjacent trees. Well, it's fine now that we've already killed some trees. We might as well go through and kill more. Um, Super VDF. Thanks very much for the prime. Keep one space, but uh, now I, I recall this unfortunate fact. But let's just... I, I like to just observe my colonists and see what they do over the first couple of days. Rich forest. How about everybody else? Does anybody have anything that we don't? Really, we haven't really. Okay, so the, the head wrap and the rich forest are the main factors coming into play here. That's fine. Okay, we'll see how they keep up with it tonight. We'll need one rich bedroom. Um, I think we'll we'll create. We'll definitely be creating one for this greedy. Um, Man, greedy for impress because that is quite a negative thing to have. Do we have any other major stupid things insulted? Somebody's been insulting everyone underground or outdoors, so we do need to create some sort of underground or at least indoor environment for our one undergrounder. An unsightly environment. Some of these things are somewhat unavoidable, though. Uh, we'll go ahead and just let them dismantle a lot of this stuff because I don't think that they're upset by dismantling trees. They're kind of li living like hippies, right? Um... We just need to get rid of all of the machines and surround them by forest. Now, are they upset by rock chunks nearby them? Because there are some ways in which this colony is very, dare I say it, overpowered. Uh, yet we still have yet to, um, to kind of find out about some of those things. We're going to go ahead and create a research bench because there's quite a lot I'm already seeing we're going to need. Uh, and I think we'll just build rooms over these areas that were kind of... Uh, building up right now so we'll end up we will mine out the steel you know there are certain things it's kind of inevitable we have to mine we can't just trade for everything plant some cotton so they can replace their head wraps as soon as they're needed this is a point yeah i'm thinking also too that just you know killing a couple of trees at the beginning like setting out one area might be okay but we're going to need to leave oh this is kind of nice though it's like feng shui you know oh Oh, Fap just day. Kalu Kalei. Fap just day, indeed. Hey, thank you very much, Shana Mac. Much appreciated. Mm, let's go ahead and... We will plant. And we will leave one space of adjacent. Yes, one space of adjacent for these trees. Fibercorn. Let's see what happens to when they plant more trees. We're going to go ahead and make uh, cotton here. Just give them a little bit of everything, because these people seem like they're going to need the whole earth to get them started. We also don't want to kill any animals, so keep that in mind. We don't want to begin with transgressions of violence against nature. Um, let's go... <laughs> should, I, should I just roleplay it? Should I, should I just buy into it completely? Give them everything that they need. Although oh, we don't have brewing yet. Strawberries, potatoes. Or do they consider plants beautiful? This would be neat. Mm, heel root is always good to have, so we'll have some of that. And then we'll also just sow more trees, because I'm genuinely curious if they get a mood buff for planting yet more trees. We'll do that here. Poplar and oak. It looks like we have mostly oak, so let's have more of this to fit in. Moving the rocks considered the same thing as mining. I'm guessing that moving rocks is okay, so let's go ahead and haul over our rocks. Um, in fact, let's just go ahead and select all of the nearby rocks because that's probably going to be one of the more reliable ways to get stone blocks at the beginning. So we'll have sandstone and limestone. Sandstone and limestone are fine. Actually good early game rocks. The plant tree won't end the... Oh man, so we won't actually make, uh, uh, make them happier by planting these. The trees have been defaced. Oh wow. So they're upset by having destroyed a lot of trees. Well, maybe they'll all go crazy. I think that's kind of part of living this lifestyle, is that you need to go a little bit crazy. So we've destroyed so many trees, but maybe they get like a mood buff for planting a lot of trees? I don't know. Let's, let's just give them a few minutes to find out. These are the important questions. Uh, we're going to go ahead and haul these over. Fortunately, this uh, precludes a lot of jobs that we would normally be doing in RimWorld anyway. So let's go ahead. I'm probably going to, I mean, word of warning, I'm going to drive a lot of these people crazy because I'm just, you know, I'm kind of a slob. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and make all of our stockpiles <laughs> around the trees because we love the trees. This is going to be the probably one of the most torturous colonies I've ever played, and yet I'm having, I'm kind of having fun because it's forcing me to play the game in this, in this god awful way. Let's go ahead and mine out some steel. I mean, seeking catharsis is one strategy that may as well be sought. And yet they can live outside, right? Who is the standout colonist? Yeah, let's go figure out who... Yep, they'll be upset by this. Oh, whoops, we forgot to build somebody a bed. Come on, wake up. You're not dead. There we go. Fantastic. Buying wood from traders would be an option. And yet, how else are these people going to make money? I think they're going to need to spend most of their time, like making turbans for other people and then selling those turbans the only thing that really they don't get upset by is growing plants and then harvesting more plants um so at this point i'll say that's like what i that's what i gather based on one day of playing like chat does that sound fairly accurate that all you really can do in this playthrough is just grow a crap load of plants because that's what it kind of seems to me. And then, you know, upset nature a couple of times very uh, intentionally. And then stop upsetting nature after you have, you know, like your hippie van or something of that nature. Smoke bot. There's, oh, yes, fiber corn. Ah, fiber corn. Let's go set out a fiber, only because we're going to need a lot of wood and we're probably going to be growing a... Well, quite a lot from the stone chunks on the ground. Fiber corn will certainly be our friend. But yeah, that is actually a fairly overpowered way to get it. I was thinking of fiber corn only as a way for tunnelers to get wood. But now that you mention it, fiber corn is actually a way for us to get wood in the U.S. of A. Here we are. Let's go ahead. We'll make that fiber corn. Since they're going to spend most of their day planting anyway, we might as well just do it. Thus, mm, fiber corn. Fiber corn doesn't have any other real fiber corn. Fiber corn. Fiber corn. Oh yeah, because we'll be upset by destroying our own trees that we plant. So fiber corn is really the only option there. That is odd. Even if they're in our own area, they'll probably be upset by it. Hmm. I, I wonder if they're upset by torches too. Yeah, it's a little bit Stardew Valley, isn't it? That's a fair. That's a fair point. Obvious goal should be to cut down every tree in sight and see how long we can get away with it before everyone self-destructs. There's probably some pretty overpowered strategies like that, but I'm liking the fact that this colony already, as of day, what are we on, day two now? Is somewhat aesthetically pleasing because a lot of RimWorld colonies just become like path, square building, path, square building. And these people yet seek to live in harmony with nature. Now, is anyone mining... Ah, we've actually got an orange. Look, everyone, an orange. Amazing. We won't have anyone do any hunting. Uh, mining? I'm going to do a little bit of it. We'll see how this goes. Because how else are they going to get a research table? I just can't see it happening. I just can't. Uh, or... Wait a minute. Nope. I've been a fool. We're going to do this like uh, a different a different way than I had expected. Hey, poor Salette. Thanks very much for the sub. We're going to do this kind of like I played in the Arctic. That is to say, take anything that can be deconstructed, dismantled, or, you know, smackledorfed in some other way. And, oh, tree. Um, and see if we could just deconstruct that. Because, for example, did we get any steel from those mechanisms? Uh, this is where I, I wish that they would allow us to harvest steel from these things. What I was thinking was that we would have some crashed stuff from space. You know what I mean? Like, we'd have some pods, and we could deconstruct those for steel. So I'm wondering if any of this debris... Yes, that's right, debris. We're not talking about debris, but debris. Uh... I, I got nothing. Um, if any of that will yield any steel, my guess is no. But if that doesn't work, we're going to have to just find steel slag chunks and melt that out of the sky. Hey, Salamandra Obi, so thanks very much for the prime. 
Yeah, deconstruct. Does it cause them regret? No, they don't. They don't really care about these machines, do they? No, they don't. But they are getting disturbed sleep. But why are you upset about being? No, this one's an undergrounder. Trees defaced. Oh, but they they don't actually care about not having bedrooms. So this seems fairly overpowered. The fact that they don't. There's only one of them who actually even cares about having a bedroom because he's greedy. Otherwise, these people are actually quite, uh... And I guess because we don't need to make as big a colony, they're going to stay with extremely low expectations. Therefore, they'll actually enjoy their surroundings more because they don't really need... It's kind of like they accept poverty. That's bananas. I mean, there are a lot of people that live like this, you know? Um, for example, uh... Perhaps, uh, yours truly. Perhaps yours truly. I don't know. I, I once did this, though. If you try to live uh, in alignment with your beliefs, you'll actually be quite happy. Uh, for a while, until you get bored. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and pick berries. We just gotta find a way of storing food. This is bananas. We might, we may need to just reuse all... Per These guys, like, don't really ever make any progress, though. We'll get one research bench going. They're very upset about mining all of this, too. Now, what happens to their beliefs? Mind. So only the one who had to mine gets the major penalty, but it's only a two-day penalty about mining, so they aren't as upset about rocks. They like trees more. Tree lovers are transhumanists, so they sleep accelerators are out in the open jungle. You could have some unusual meme combinations, I suppose. That's fair. Uh, though, oddly, they aren't upset by eating pemmican. I guess it's because it's all that's available. At least we have some building space on the stone there, yeah. Well, actually, building on stone is what you should always kind of strive to do anyway, because it, you know, you don't want it to get dirty. Unless if you decide consciously to build on dirt, um, which, which is a whole other strategy of the game, where you just make a room very dirty, but you make it very impressive, too. My god, these people are so... Nice to watch. We're going to go ahead and tell them to research stone cutting, though, because otherwise they won't have anything. All right, so we're, we're going to give them weapons, too. Who's good at what? You're good in melee, so you take the Iqua. You take the... Actually, you would have been better... Uh, you take the Jade Knife. Mm, you have that. Okay, you're one of the few good shots, so you're going to take the Bow. You're also a good shot, so you also take the bow. And you're not good at anything, so we're just going to give you the pila and hope that it works out for you. Very good. Actually, you, we probably don't want somebody who's that bad at shooting. Uh, nah, take the club. I don't want to uh, risk that. Pila is pretty good. It's like kind of a high-risk, high-reward weapon. Is anyone a researcher? Does anyone believe in smart? All right, we'll have you all smart because you... None of you believe in that. All right. Um, so I guess that we're probably going to be spending most of our time walking around and doing nothing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what we do. This is this is an oddly like already somewhat self-sufficient colony. I mean, they're not upset. We did a couple of the things that we weren't supposed to, but. So they're a little bit uncomfortable, so maybe we'll make them some beds. They aren't upset about that. Let's just have them... Well, I guess tomorrow morning we'll wait for the light. Does it really make sense to... Doesn't really make sense to keep... We'll do one torch lamp. Nah, we'll just... Let's give them five beds again. Tomorrow morning, though, as soon as they wake up, I'm going to go ahead and give them a... Uh, uh, an actual bed each, because the one thing is that they aren't upset by not having bedrooms, but they are upset by th the fact that they have to sleep on the ground. That's not very comfortable. They probably ran. Thanks very much for coming out. I know so much about you. The idea of these playthroughs, I guess I'll kind of go through, is to just explore the game systems in a way that I can't really do in the um, in, in much of like the kind of storytelling I do on the main channel now. I used to do playthroughs a little bit more like this, but it's just kind of like a relaxed way to go through the game. Um, not really as much of a... a sh this guy's name is Sabbath? 
And we have another guy named Butter. Is that ours too? No, this is just Raccoon. I thought we were just naming them all what the animal was. We also have Newton the Chinchilla. Let's give our animals some uh, area bias. And we could also probably focus on uh, entertaining. Uh, not really entertaining. Doing whatever we do with the animals. Um, these animals could be doing so much more. The The lab could be doing so much for us. And I figure we're going to need to depend on everything that we can. In the meantime, we should also probably assign somebody to do something. And now, who's the only one who's not social? You're the only one who's incapable of social. We want to look at our biggest socialer. There we go. Wombat is clearly the best socialer. An undergrounder who's also kind, so we'll probably get along pretty well with everyone. We're going to go over to the social tab and assign a role here. Oh, we have no uh, altar. Okay, so let's go ahead and... We'll probably want to put this outside. Beg his festival, call it to the tree gods, and call it Woodstock. <laughs> ah, an excellent idea. Um, let's go ahead and... Do we need an altar? Now, what kinds of things do we like? A ritual spot can be used for any faction. Egg box, small organic altar, steel. We could make it out of wood. We probably just make want to make all of the nature stuff. Marriage spot. Man, there's probably some pretty overpowered strategies I still don't even really know about yet. I'll make a wooden altar somewhere out in the middle of the forest. Just because I think that it seems thematic. Yes, like right about right about here. Uh no, that's not that doesn't fit with the feng shui. There we go. I know it's on the soil, but come on, we gotta have it somewhere fertile. Um in the meantime, let's go ahead and make some pets. We're going to have to destroy far more trees than I'd care to care to admit here um oh yeah that's right we don't have complex furniture yet oh oopsie daisy oopsie daisy all right we begin the morning with the daily ablutions and then we go on to the eating we love the eating we don't have enough rice we're going to we're going to need a lot more of it okay let's go find a field somewhere and uh tactfully avoid the trees we gotta get not within one there we go Unfortunately, they aren't upset by the killing of any plant. That would be, that would be a lot to deal with. A hey, wild, ni wild Snelson. Thanks very much for the prime. Undergrounder who can't dig. Yeah, some ironic roles that you know things that seem as if they should be irreconcilable, which turn out to be reconcilable. Begin role change. Okay, so we said wombat was going to be the something. Now what? Oops. Uh, what? Now what roles do we have? We have a leader. Probably we'll make the best leader. Hmm. Uh, work drive, combat command. So they can fight other people. This just seems a little bit uh, to me personally. That seems a bit unethical. That you like trees Mashing. more than people. Aren't people? People are important because people can plant more trees. You know. That seems pretty important. Trees. Okay, so Wombat will be the tree speaker. She herself. Is it a she? Yes, it's a she. Okay, so she. Wombat will begin this. Ooh, music. In the distance, we hear the beating of a timpani. Or a bong. Something. No, what is this? Some kind of horn. Wah, uh, wah, wah, ee, wah, ho, ho, ho. Wah ho wah he wah ho ho ho. Suddenly uh, there's an aurora. And yet it seems an entirely different game than the cannibalist. S cannibalist? Whatever, that's a new word. Psychopath kind of garbage that we l first learned from Rimworld. Hey, Ghoul King, what's up, brother? Hey, how's it going? Have you tried out this vegan thing in Rimworld? It's kind of crazy. Hey, Photoshop LOLOL. <laughs> Thanks very much for the prime. Yeah, people are people, too. You think Pete will do some kind of hardcore playthrough like this that we'll all learn from? I learned a lot from his desert and from his uh, other thing. Uh, yeah, he makes quite good stuff. They're probably going to spend a lot of time just cleaning dirt, though, but I don't know. It's somewhat calming to play the game this way. No one has had a mood break. They just love this. Burning passion, partly because I gave them all burning passions for their work. Mind... Want tree speaker a pair? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, yeah, the cape. 
I should have waited till the cotton was finished growing before we did this because we can't use any animal leather for this. <laughs> this is like, uh, you know, there's so many resources usually at your disposal. We can't use any of them. Is anyone any good at anything? They're so slow at research, too. We're going to go ahead and have to make this indoors so that they won't get the negative debuff from the research. And we're probably going to have to do a lot of other stuff I don't want to do. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I've decided I'm going to just drive them all crazy because... <laughs> Otherwise, they're just going to be standing here forever. Can you imagine if we can't build any rooms? We're just going to have crazy vegans going on catharsis all the time. Like, oh, there were, I thought I saw some meat in the pan I was cooking with, and they'll be upset. Oh, we can extract these trees. Ah, oh, that's great. Okay, so then we don't actually have to... Ooh, wish I'd known about that before. Ooh, very amazing. This is very amazing, guys. Look at this. I wish I had seen that before. Okay, now I now I fully understand this. Well, it's better off finding it out now rather than 30 days into the playthrough. That would be very upsetting. So we can totally uh, extract these trees. Let's do this. P, I bet you're learning something already. Let's go ahead and get all of these uh, trees out of here. We This would have been so much better from the beginning. Oh, well, it's all right. Uh, just... Don't cry over spilled milk. Um, ig ignore all the stuff we did wrong before. But what we're going to try to do is get all of the extracted trees out of the fertile soil. Because we need to be able to use that for crops. So we'll have... And this is good. We don't actually have to like tenderly avoid all of the tree areas. Uh, I feel so much more peace with nature. Or as they say in Latin, natura. There we are. That's the nominative uh, singular of, of nature. Bet you didn't know that. We're going to learn some Latin today, everyone. All right. This is the f Oh, God. Maybe watch for blood on the map and predatory animal kills. But uh, if an animal fights us, we believe in... What, like the animal was possessed by Cthulhu or something? Don't insult my... I guess we could just leave these trees over here. Though we could also plant, like, a beautiful, majestic forest somewhere. Oh, that would be so nice. Okay, I I, res I take back all of the things that I said that were bad about this place. No, actually, I didn't really have any strong feelings, but, you know, I, I could see how it could be totally unplayable. That was uh, possible, possible. Now, we have a new problem with the research, and that's that it's now dark in the room. Uh, they don't like that because they can't see the book that they're reading or whatever they're doing. They're not really reading a book. They're just kind of tossing papers about going, I don't know, like, you know, like a very unwilling adolescent to do their chores. Uh, there we are. Okay, good. So now we've got research happening a little bit faster. We can build a, a chair and we can use wood that's available. They don't, they aren't necessarily against using resources, these people. Um, Mm. There we go. We're going to have to... Bi I'm going to learn a lot of new hotkeys here. Let's go ahead and do all of this. Put this garbage over here. It'd be nice if there were like a whole batch select for trees. That goes there. Oh, white. Here's white. Hello. Uh, hang on a second. Wombat. Go ahead and trade with white. Let's see if he if white has literally anything. Uh, Pila. We could sell the Pila. We aren't going to be using that herbal medicine we could probably use some pemmican i'm not gonna lie and we also probably just want to keep down our colony wealth because it's not gonna go so well after this uh steel spear would be okay uh though honestly the recurve bows just i gotta stay away from threats yeah we'll take that great okay fantastic wow so nice who is good at shooting again short bow you're a decent shot right uh, who, who are you again yeah, you're pretty good. Lurk him. Ah, fantastic. E or M? E or M? What is E or M? Hmm. Mm, can I show you pictures of my pet turtles on Twitter? You're always welcome to show me pictures of your pet turtle on Twitter. That's um, That's usually one of the highs of my day, I would say. 
No, I was actually speaking of nature. I was just out on a jog in nature the other day. There was this. Tur- there was actually five turtles. I was getting anxiety by the end of the run because uh, I I was scared I was going to step on one of the turtles because I don't wear my glasses when I'm running. So like the turtles, I would just see them a few minutes before, so I had to slow down. Um, anyway, didn't step on any of the turtles. I think, but they're kind of cute when they're like hiding in fear. Because they poke their heads into their shells. So, uh, going out with some friends in, in a week so that I could see the turtles. But yeah, it gets very sweaty. It gets very sweaty. God. You know, that actually makes me optimistic about finding a turtle here while we play this. So let's go ahead and just... Um, we're going to give some beds to our animals. They, they're they allowed to sleep inside. I guess we'll just have them there. Animal mating. Ah, oh, love that. Yeah, the turtles sta- No, the turtles are fine. Don't worry about the turtles. And we've got a oh, great a gift. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. That's actually quite a good gift because we probably are never going to have any components. This would be essentially like giving a Game Boy to a caveman. He needs a Game Man because he's a caveman. Get it? So now, what do, what do these people think when they're near so many trees? Do they get even more... I was recently surrounded by a lush forest. That makes it sound like the forest surrounded them. Mind. Okay, so then there is a way to totally avoid this. Ravenously hungry. Though, of course, just horrible lives because they're going to be spending most of their time just starving. And this is one of the reasons why I gave up being a vegan was I just got so hungry. There really isn't enough, like, synthetic meat. Like, there's so many vegan foods based on meat like you know you want you know you want it Ken <laughs> oh, Jesus so now that we have more fields we can go ahead and just expand our our uh, rice production welcome to the rice fields yeah um hang on a second let's just oops accidentally just erased all of my fields damn it okay we're going to need to rezone those yeah, it's all good. We weren't really doing much else anyway. Let's go ahead and expand that. I want to make more of this area rice anyway. Good. We'll expand that over to there. Uh, and then we'll I just call everything rice. Grow zone here. Grow zone here. And grow zone here. And we just have to change which crop it is. Okay, and then we'll have a couple of other areas free. That's good. Heel root. What is this? We've got cotton here. Cotton, there we are. And now smoke leaf, because we're going to need a lot of that, because we're all going to be going crazy. Oh, we don't have smoke leaf. Ah, what a fool I have been. We also need to destroy this car, because it's over the... <laughs> I love the new destroy terrain mechanic. It's so funny. This guy's going to destroy a car with a jade knife. <laughs> like, he, he does kind of look like an angry... Let's get a lot of them to do it together. Angry vegans. Oh, love it. Look at that. <laughs> Bad car. <laughs> and then they can use the car <laughs> and smelt it down <laughs> for it to steal. It's like the gift shop at the end of a nature preserve. Ah, where they just sell meteorites that have landed there. Yeah, give a caveman a... What if something attacks us, though? I'd like some kind of, like, Matrix vegans, you know? I think that'd be really nice. Look at how much friendship and helping there is. Oh, whoops. I accidentally did, uh, potatoes. Oh, uh, early harvest. Whatever. We kind of needed it anyway. Oops. I should not have done that. Oh, well. We'll have plenty of food in no time. We're going to do nothing but harvest berries over the next couple of days anyway. Is everyone going to starve to death, too? Long outdoors. Now, why are you upset by long out Being outside so much is wrong from... Oh, this is our undergrounder. I keep mixing that one up. That's fine. All right. Salted. Though it does... It does make me realize you need to be very, very intentional when you pick out the colonists here. Like, just as in real life, you know, many qualities wouldn't... Simply wouldn't work uh, for people who are kind of going to renounce everything and become 
somewhat of an ascetic. Now they, uh, please tell me that they aren't going to be upset by killing this squirrel. I believe, in fact, no. Um, Lurkum is the one with the, with the pointy stick, though. So we will use Lurkum. Oh look, a Doge! Oh wow, Doge! Here comes the Doge. Okay, the Doge will guard. Yes, the Doge is going to guard Lurkum. I think. Look, there he goes, standing in the way. Ah. Oh. Now, are they upset by butchering this squirrel? Let's go check their idea religion. Killing innocent animals, uh, killed innocent animal. No, so I suppose technically they aren't annoyed by eating meat. In which case, let's do a butcher spot. I don't really want to go to the trouble of making a butcher table because do we have enough resources for it? Uh, actually, not that we'll be getting a lot of them, but let's go ahead and make a, yeah, regular butcher table. We have enough steel for the... I, I'd rather avoid using a lot of steel if I can avoid it. Yeah, there we are. I know, they're going to get so hungry. It's, by no means will it be an overpowered or an easy playthrough of RimWorld. Quite honestly, some of the easiest playthroughs of this are the most unethical. Case in point, psychopath, bloodlusting, solo cannibal. Probably the best type of playthrough. We'll go ahead and plant the rest of these. Let's just make sure that they're always near a forest because the one thing that we can count on is that they'll always have a mood buff from being right next to a giant forest, which is actually quite nice. Um, unless if we have like some large area without it. Um, again, we're waiting on the complex furniture thing. Uh, did that one. Whoops. Never mind. We'll just do it again. A couple more over here. This is good. We have our altar right in the middle of where we shouldn't have the altar. Actually, we'll move. We'll probably move that about somewhere else. Uh, oh, I thought we could minify that. I stand corrected. All right. Well, it's fine. It doesn't really make much of a difference anyway. I just kind of wanted to see them out celebrating in the fields. I thought that would have been like a moral victory for this colony. So I did it anyway. Let's go ahead and plant some smoke leaf all around the spot while they're, where they'll be having rituals. Because I, I think that's absolutely fitting. It's kind of nice to see all of this green in RimWorld, though. You really don't get enough opportunities for green. Angry vegans destroy civilization while dog and bear watch on. I'm a little worried about this bear, though. Because there's a lot of bears who are just like, yeah, I live here. <laughs> just kind of walking through. And that's fine, but what if they decide, like, yeah, I own this place next? That wouldn't be so great. Yeah. Not so great at all. It, will you get better at research, pleasing? Chunks of spit. Ah, now this is what we... Now, in these times when I grow exceedingly impatient because of all the... Like, look, it would be nice if we could carve out some of this and make it into a smooth line. We just have to kind of accept rough surfaces. That's just the matter of, of fact of what it is in this playthrough. We're forced to kind of harvest things that we would rather just grow ourselves, you know? But we just don't really have room here. We'll have a lot of medicine. I'm pretty optimistic for when a trader comes around that we'll be able to, to medicine somehow. Um, but for now... We just have to take whatever comes to us out of the sky. And like I said, it's like the Arctic, you know. We just have to hope and hope some more. And we have tanks. Are these, these are ruined APCs from, I suppose, like what is that? World War uh, Two? I think that's World War Two, right? Or maybe the Vietnam, when it, whichever war. It was a, a war that we were in at some point. Good Wombat is such a great colonist. Can everyone just compliment Wombat for a second, please? Play a game called Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves is a fantastic game. Aren't we? Isn't this Sea of Thieves we're playing right now? Yeah, I'm upset about... No, and also... I, I really... I liked Sea of Thieves. We just... Uh, I, I found it got a little bit repetitive after time. We'd, we'd go back and do it again. Just gotta bring together... Bring together the... You know, the boys for it. Yeah. I think we had Jared played Sea of Thieves, right? Jared was actually quite good at it. Too good. We had to uh, bring down his ego a little bit, right? He's, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, of course I'm kidding. Major break risk. All right, what am I doing now? 
Um, hmm. Hauling oak tree, good. Major break risk, why are you... All right, well, we haven't had so many of these a lot. Let's learn. Okay, from malnourishment, that makes sense. Everybody here is just so bad at getting food. Ugh. Okay, we'll harvest more berries because they don't have anything, man. These people stink at getting food. Oh, wait a second. More berries over here. I guess we need to take this even more literally than we did before. Look at all those berries. Come on, you are cutting brambles. Oh, they're doing that. Okay. Let's just let them all slightly starve. I guess. Nah, you know, I'm not going to do that. Harvest. Eat those boys and berries or whatever they are. Good. Okay, you're not so malnourished anymore, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Low expectations. Since when did our colonies rich happen? We, we aren't even that much more rich. We have like $15 more than we did before. This is not so great. What is causing all of this wealth? I suppose it was because people just left seven components. And we did de deconstruct that space chunk, to be fair, too. Yeah, okay, all right, it makes a little bit more sense now. We don't really need this stuff. Yeah, we'll just leave it. Berries. Berries and cream, berries and cream. All right, uh, what did what did we say we were going to be? We were going to be wood stock, and we're going to be... Um, oh, what else, what else were we going to be? Wood stock and... The plant. Uh, I guess we could be like someone who... Did Robert Plant appear? No, he wouldn't. I don't want Robert Plant to have to be part of my colony. He just wrote some great songs, you know? Or he would yell and scream into that microphone. Um, maybe like something like nuts. Uh, hmm. Uh, colony is not doing bear... Very good. <laughs> colony. There we go. Very... <laughs> The Terence Mechanites. <laughs> Oops, I, I think it's... Eh, we'll, we'll miss... Terence! <laughs> uh, that's, too, that's too good. That's too good. Uh, fresh vegetables. Thanks very much. Terence Mechanites. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Now we're getting started on the right foot. Replant that over there. Uh, as long as we've got enough room for planting-ish, we're good. Go ahead and put all of these over there. Happy little trees. Yeah. Replant this over there. All right. We're not starving to death so much more anymore. Uh, now we have these berries. Okay, what is going to end our constant hunger? We uh, obviously we'll need more rice fields, so let's go ahead and finish that off. I, I I think I vastly underestimated the amount of rice I would need from the beginning, and then I kept also unsowing and resowing the rice, which wasn't really doing us any favors. But ignore that. Okay, this is a sort of big enough rice field, uh, meteorite that we can't do anything with. That's too bad. Um, well, yeah, we'll do more rice up there, and then. Oh my god, we're going to need to use every last inch of this space. W-A-H-T about Kevin? You solve it? What about Kevin? I don't get it. And hey, Neil Bobson, thanks very much for the sub. Hmm. What is this? Oil smear? This wasn't in the... This wasn't in the game. This isn't allowed in the game. I won't allow it. Ugh. I think these colonists would get joy out of destroying or deconstructing the de It would be nice if they, yeah, it would be nice if they had a couple more sources of mood buffs. Like, now that they've added in all of this crap, you know, it would be nice if they had an emote like, I destroyed a machine and I feel great about it. Ate raw food. I, I thought that they should be, we're not animals, but they kind of think that they are animals, though, too. I suppose that when you have such a vast, immense game as RimWorld, you must there must be so many things going on in it to be able to... Yeah, that'd be kind of nice, though, if they didn't have the debuff for 8 raw food, and if they were happier after they destroyed a machine. But so far, still haven't had any, um, had any snapping. So let's just go ahead and have them 
basically plant these massive fields of whatever they will. Because this seems to be about the only thing that these people can do is that you just pretty much repurpose everybody for plants. Now, what other kinds of powers do they have? We haven't used any of our faction-specific powers. Offer counsel to a person to cancel the effect of a sad memory. This can be pretty powerful, but none of our animals have died yet. Preaching health is good, but no one is unhealthy. And we have all of this herbal medicine that we'll probably never use because no one gets sick because we eat only natural foods. Reassure. Uh, I don't think that's necessary. And we've got convert. Now, it seems that the work... Forcing someone to... Can we force someone to work on something? Moral guide is the one. Mm, work drive. Oh, did we accidentally assign the wrong role? Hmm, what are you? Is the tree speaker... Conversion ritual reassure... Ah, uh, this one does not have the work ethic one. Who is the who is the ideologian member who gives them the work boost? I, I need to recall now. KSP Kevin, you know? Oh, Kerbal Space Program. I've actually not played Kerbal Space Program. It's one of those ones. Yeah, I know. It's a shame to admit it. Wait, is that, that's KSP, right? That's KSP. Am I getting that? And regardless, thanks for the three hundred bits. Maybe I gotta play. Maybe I gotta play Kerbal Space Program. Leader speech, work drive, combat. Root chief, tree speaker. Oh, so we accidentally created a tree speaker, but no leader. Hmm. This irks me. This irks me. Work boost, yeah, work boost is the chief. We don't actually have a chief right now. I didn't realize, I thought that you had to automatically assign only one role. Okay, so just something that I don't get about ideology yet. Going for a walk, though they're never upset because they're always going on walks and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and give them some other things that they'll need. Hoopstone is definitely a must. Um, I don't get it. Like, horseshoes hadn't been invented yet, so they had hoopstone? I think horseshoes seems slightly more fun than hoopstone. Game of Ur. We'll also give them Ur. I guess Ur. Yeah, that's good. They love Ur. Look at them. You can tell positively by their s the way that they're sleeping. Hmm. Give them a stu- No, we don't really need anything. The irony of this colony is that you don't need anything, pretty much. They're just so bad at research. Only 91. I'm at the yep. point where KSP. I might give them a- That was a WS home, you know. I hope you return to it. I Yeep. hope. Aw, show <laughs> Ooh, the Gorenlin pod sprout. Hey, thanks very much, little bobs. All right, this is what we've kind of been waiting for for the whole time because this is one of the most overpowered things that we just didn't get, but supposedly it's supposed to happen earlier on in the colony if you run vegans uh, or, or tree people or whatever we are. Gorenlin pod has sprouted nearby. Harvest it to collect a Gorenlin seed. This special seed can be used to plant the majestic Gorenlin tree, I agree. Your colonists can connect with the Gorenlin trees to make them spawn resources and helpful dryads to work and fight for you. Now, once we get these things, um, we're going to have to kind of decide on what we want the tree to do, or what we want the dryad to do for us. It doesn't really look like a dryad. It just kind of looks like a Tamagotchi or something like that. Um, but I guess we'll put it in our main field area. I don't really see any disadvantage to that. Or a little, maybe we'll put it here because I kind of want it near the river. I think that would look lovely. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, the orange tree, the orange trees are the OP trees. I mean, if you have any like uh, treatise on which Gorenlin tree is the best, go ahead, feel free to make this, make this your like, um, your pulpit or, uh, or what have you. Hang on a second. Are we going to have enough food to last until the rice harvest? And also, too, we should create, like, a like a stove. Because otherwise, it's generally bad to not have one. Um, just because you're pretty inefficient with meals. Uh, now, we do need a clean space. Let's go ahead and make them a kitchen. And since we want it to be clean, we'll put it on top of some uh, stone here. Using the stones as the walls. It's going to be outdoors for now, but we're going to go ahead and... It would be nice to work with this stone. As soon as we get that stone cutting research, we'll ha that'll be nice. Uh, but we don't have it right now. Let's go ahead and just make a kitchen, like, right about here. 
We'll put a door in right there. I, I, I kind of like having corners on just visually. Worst comes to worst, we could just cut down a tree. And who is going to harvest this? Let's go ahead and have... Um, let's use our best in plants, only because I don't want them to mess this up. You've got eight in plants. That's actually quite good. Wombat. Go. And we didn't do this wrong, I suppose. Yeah, we didn't want to cut plant. Just destroy it and ruin everyone's life. Now, this creates a seed. Uh, and this seed needs to be replanted somewhere else. And then it, it creates a Gorenlin tree. So let's go ahead and plant the Gorenlin tree. Gorenlin? I, I, I'm not 100% sure how you say it. Uh, but let's see. Now. Supposedly it can't be planted right next to a field. That makes sense because... For, well, for quite obvious reasons. Um... It look, I'm getting red circles nearby the altar, and since red means bad, we'll put it, like, somewhere out in nature, you know? Like, there we go, like, this, look, this circle that says, like, there's nothing wrong here. Yeah, okay, so let's put it in the middle of all of these other trees, and then we'll kind of lead the other trees up to them in such a way that looks like it boosts the feng shui. There we go. I, I do like this for a colony because it actually makes it look more visually pleasing. We are going to begin the tree connection ritual to whatever the hell that is. A gnarlin? Gnarlin tree? Whatever it is, it's a tree. It's definitely a tree. Mm. Alright, so let's go do the do the uh, the tree ritual. Um, hang on a second. Replant this over here and here. All right, now it's somewhat more symmetrical. There we go. Uh, tree connection ritual. I, I mean, I don't know. Now is better than ever. We want to get this thing grown. Let's just make sure that we finish planting all of this other crap. Great. Looking good tree. we got to raise the tree's confidence. Everyone, please keep complimenting the tree. We've got 40% expected quality only because of the number of uh, participants. Connector will start with 20. The connector. 2% increase. This colony will grow a patch of Gorenlin moss around there, beautifying the area. Okay, so it's going to beautify the area. Well, we were kind of planning on spending a lot of time around our base anyway, so I suppose that'll make us even happier. So basically, you want to plant the Gorenlin tree somewhere where it's an advantage to make it beautiful, like in the middle of your compound. Since I think we'll have bridges going over the water, and it will be quite uh, serene by the time we're done, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay. Get ready. Wah, ooh, wah, ee. Crap, what a horrible time for someone to raid. Please tell me that you're just going to stand out there and not attack us. This is horrible. Oh, thank God. Gurren Lynch, okay, we got the connection. Let's go kill this man. Uh, <laughs> what, a f what a funny happenstance. And then we'll go pick berries over his body after we're done. Um... This is hilarious. I love this playthrough. <laughs> it's great. Um, put him somewhere where he doesn't really have a tactical advantage. His name is Crocodile. Come on. There we are. Okay, put the melee fighters in the front. Nidli is our best fighter. You're also quite good. And Wombat is... We want to keep Wombat safe. Though, actually... Uh, Ah, whatever, it's fine. We probably could have just kited him, but... Whatever, let's just beat him up. Okay, that was horrible combat mismanagement, but what? What? who who got hurt anyway? Ah, that's nothing. Okay, let's take his stuff. This gentleman is a genius. We must imprison him, and yet we don't have enough food. He will be our new leader. He's even smart. Look at that. Okay. Drop everything. Imprison. Imprison. Uh, imprison. Uh, let's begin with uh, a bed. He needs one. There we go. Okay. For a... Probably not a good idea to give him a bow in there. So we'll just not allow weapons in here. Uh... 
put that in the other room. We we do, I'm kind of improvising at this moment. Just ignore me. Uh, here we go for prisoners. There we are. Okay, where is he? Yep. Uh, take him alive. There we go. Great. Okay, get his stuff. Uh, great. Oh, new friend. New friend, everybody. Oh yeah. Uh, no, don't do that. Just <laughs> whoops. Uh, death in eight hours. Eh, I'll be fine. Great, and Wombat's gonna go over there and collect some berries. Don't, ah, uh, God, not when the sake, when, not when the whole colony depends on this. There we go. Okay, so let's go back to the Grenlin, Grand, whatever it is. Mm, put him with the rocks. Yeah, he loves the rocks. Look at it in there. Oh, great, Ambrosia. At least we get to explore all of the natural supplements that Rimworld has in it with this colony, though. You know, we don't get to build any structures for a while, though, unfortunately. Uh, who is our doctor? Go ahead and check that. Oh, we don't... Do we have one? Lurcha is also a, very passionate about being a doctor. Uh, but is not very good. Not very good at being a doctor. Okay. In which case... Yeah, let's have Barco do some of the uh, the tending. And then Lurcha, we can just have do some self-tending. Yeah. You get better by doing surgery on your own uh, broken leg. There we go. Don't do it inside, but it doesn't really matter that much. It's fine. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay, Garenlin, the thing we wanted to learn about. All right, so now we can... Oh, God. So now we need to go ahead and choose which class of dryads we're going to create. Connected to Wombat Mabrin. So Wombat is the one who is kind of in charge of this tree. Spawning immature dryad in 7.6 days. So we're going to have an army of dryads that just do something. We need to spend four hours a day maintaining this thing, though. So it's a lot of work. It's kind of like, um, let's go ahead and just speed up time. I guess Wombat's trimming the tree now? Giving the tree a trim, you know, and all that. Oh, it looks so good. Desired 50%. So for every, like, leaf that she prunes or something like that, I guess she gets more 1% of connection shrink or something. So we have a lot of different opportunities. What are, what are the good ones? And choose which cast of dryads the tree will create. Dryads will emerge from pods that will grow at the tree's base. The maximum number of dryads is based on the connection shrink between the grindle tree and the connected person. I'm thinking... Is Woodmaker the overpowered one? Because we just don't have that much wood. Medicine, we can all we can all kind of create already. This one creates berries, so it could be a source of food. This one makes more Garanlin trees. This one hits people. This one gets hit by people, I guess. And a carrier one is interesting. So do we get to pick one? Or do we just go from there? I think 32 wood every two days is... Uh, but if we, like, really make this thing... 40 berries every two days. Cowmaker Dryad. And also makes a Garanlin pod. But, uh, gr reproduce Garanlin tree along its symbiote. The Dryad Queen to do this. Ethical three Cowmaker. This is kind of crazy. Three Gowmaker Dryads must slowly emerge. So this one is a big payoff, but it takes a very long time. Um, hey, KJ8011, thanks very much. It's a pretty ethical one. It's pretty ethical. Let me just go ahead and see. Pruning, spawning immature Dryad in 7.5 days. Each tree is a specific cast, so that tree will only produce the one you select. So I suppose that if we start on one, although Woodmaker looks probably the most relevant to us right now. I'm going to go ahead and do the gal maker one just so that we can kind of get started on the, you know, I think of it as an investment. Um, time and energy. I'm going to try to spend five days inside the cocoons. I don't know what we were doing. We were doing, do we even have one picked? Whatever it is. We need to create more Garanlin trees. That is going to be the most overpowered thing for us right now. And if we could just have the whole army of them, now we could spawn up other ones that do other things. I think other ones can spru uh, sprout. So you can have, like, multiple sprout, even if you don't get that one in particular. But not a bad spot to start. 
Um, fortunately, this guy cannot walk because he would be pretty pissed if he could walk. Uh, all right. All that being said, not a bad way to spend a day. Why are you staying up all night to prune the tree? I'm not going to question it. The tree is probably going to be better than the people in this playthrough. Uh, herbal med dryads are a lifesaver if you don't have any on the map. Uh, I figure we have medicine, but it could be a faster way to get medicine. Yeah, so this tree makes more Granlin trees. I think after this one, we'll do a woodmaker one just because... I mean... Are we really going to depend upon fiber corn for all of our wood? Why did I plant potatoes here accidentally? Well, planting trees seems to be basically worthless in this colony. Are the potatoes far? They're far along enough. I think I'm just going to leave them as they are, but we'll not allow replanting here. Uh, no sowing. So overall, what day are we on now? 7th of April, May. I'd say that this playthrough in general is a lot more slow. Um, maybe, more gratif maybe more gratifying by the time that we get to the end of it, though. I, I am by no means very organized. Inner World is probably one of the things that I struggle with the most greatly. And yet it still looks decent. Like, just aesthetically, I like the way that it looks. I like it. I admit it. Gonna go for a simple meal here too. Do we have uh, ten? Whoa, we got a badass over here making a simple meal. Uh, no details. Let's just do drop on floor. That's good. And we'll do the meal, t not lavish meal. Simple meal times four. That till we have X. I think this just catches whichever ones you don't have. Since we don't have any refrigeration, we just won't make any more than twelve. Do drop on floor as well. Good. Okay. That's decent. Good. Now they do have meal production workflow. And let's also just make sure that we've got a decent cook on that. Nilero. What are you in cooking? You are six. That's, uh, might be enough. Do we have anybody who's a better cook? Yeah, I mean, it's by no means really that good. Barco is better at it. Barco, how are you at cooking? You are cooking eight. Okay, I'm going to have... Only Barco doing the cooking then. Barco is pretty essential to our colony now because... Uh, uh, there we go. Eight cooking. Only Barco. And this one is only Barco. The reason why we want to do this is just so that we don't get any chance of... Nope. Uh, okay, you eat your own meal and probably get food poisoning from it. The reason we want to do that is to just avoid getting any food poisoning. We can level up Nalero, though, by having him be the only guy who butchers. That way he kind of grinds that last two cooking skill. It'll take a long time, but you really don't want food poisoning. Food poisoning is very detrimental to your colony. Um, and then I think we're going to go ahead and... My God, there's no room in here. We'll say clear all raw food. Raw food. We'll make that preferred. And let's just say expand that zone there. Will they even be able to drop them on the floor? Yeah, whatever. Who cares? I think I think that'll be fine. Let's see how they interact with that. Good enough. Good enough. Uh, okay, crocodile. Now we got to set about converting crocodile. Now what is he like? It's more like making friends here, I suppose. How is the gremlin tree going? Printing connection strength, 1.2% per hour. Spawning immature dryad in about a week, it can have up to two dryads. I, though I suppose that after that it starts making more trees and that's fine. Huh. Be nice to have like a whole forest full of those things. Can you imagine having the entire map full, filled with dryads that attack any enemies that come in and you don't even have to do anything? It does seem like that it's like nature factory here. Suspicious little creatures who seemingly find medicine lying about everywhere in thin air and end up in the wrong stuff. <laughs> no, I mean, like, it just seems as though it could create so many more interesting events in the game that aren't already there. They've practically dropped out all their time on research, too. Hmm, how much wood do we have? But it also makes resources seem more precious, and anything that does that, I think, is kind of nice. Hmm. Or, in general, I think that that's a good thing. Uh, 
ultimately I won't want the research table there. What we could do, are we upsetting anyone with this? Okay, now they've gotten over having mined a little bit. That's good. So that doesn't take so long. It's just that they get really, really upset if they destroy even a single tree. Okay, I think I'm starting to get this faction a little bit more. But look at all the time that Wombat spends pruning this tree. Hmm. So mining isn't so bad. So really, you could mine if you wanted to with this colony, but you wouldn't want to kill any trees. That's like my overall conclusion. Let's go ahead and see. Public, <laughs> public execution. Why would they... <laughs> Why would they <laughs> just accept it outright? <laughs> they love public ice. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, crazy talk, crazy talk. I think they're not researching though because this guy's in here. Let's go ahead and bring the research table outside and then we're going to create a specialized research room also. Uh, we can actually change that. We're gonna create a specialized research room over here. Um, doesn't really need to be huge, but I don't want it to be so cramped either. Mm, as long as we've covered up the dirt, we'll have to replant this tree. Let me put that entrance there. Okay. The reason I did this was just because I wanted the floor to be better. See, look what I did. Technically, you don't even really need to replant the trees. Okay, now we take a torch and we build another one over there. Though, obviously, since we're not really creating a crap load of wood, we'll want to be careful with this as well. We're doing research now. La, 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 la. Good research with it out of the prison. We'll also reinstall this over here. Now, it doesn't make a difference whether it's inside or outside, so we'll just put it right there. That's fine. I mean, it, it'll make it a little bit slower, but who really cares? It, butchering creatures isn't really that long a task to begin with. Okay, now I think we can do stupid things, like smoothing the surface of all of the walls around us, because what else are they going to do, really? Um, cleaning. Yeah, good. Um, in fact, I like that so much that I might just create another research table there. Or a second room for research. We are beginning to accumulate some rooms, though, and I just feel like that they're at peace with nature. But does this room have the clean buff? It's definitely not dirty, so that's clean. So that actually gives us a research buff. It's the reason I built it on stone. Building rooms. Now, I d I'm trying to think if there's anything that's really overpowered that we could do. Like, could we somehow make a formation of trees that makes them really happy or something like that? We could do honor. Okay. Maurice Arez, a baron of the Broken Imperium, is calling from nearby. His guards were killed in an ambush. He escaped, but is now being followed by a man-hunting cat. He wants to keep him safe here until his shuttle picks him up for a few hours. Okay, I'm willing to take honor. Um, uh, honor is not really that good, but I, I, the problem is just that the man-hunting cat is a meal. So, Absolutely. Uh, we're going to just make Wombat, like, supreme leader here. Maurice joins. Okay, let's go ahead and see Maurice. Uh, if he should die, we can take his cape. Actually, that might be a better strategy. Right, where is the man-hunting cat? I really needed this. I don't really care about the Empire. We're going to just have this gentleman... Yep, there we go. Okay. He's just going to die of wounds to this cat. Don't question it, okay? We're being as ethical as we can. All right, how, where is he? We gotta make sure that he doesn't live. He has a level five sound like, wow. This cat is a, its tail was destroyed. Holy crap. It's on the loose. I need the cape more than I need him. I'm sorry. I, I know, but this cat is... It's gone mad. It's gone mad. Everyone's here feeling bad for the cat. I might just... Take him down. We feel no sympathy for people. Good. Good. Take down that... Ah, oh, damn it. It was a rotten cat. Yeah, see? It's gone mad. Okay, um... 
Let's just see if this guy expires. Hmm, cape? Or the enmity of the empire? I think I'm just going to become enemies with the empire. I really need that cape. I could use it. Hmm, can we strip him? No, we can't actually strip him. Dang. Alright, just, uh... Yep. No, I'm sorry, we can't rescue you. Let's see if he just gets up on his own. I think that's gonna happen. Death in 24! I stand corrected! Yes, okay, we'll just leave him there to marinate overnight or something. Um, alright. Ethical ethics, everyone. Ethical ethics, unless, if, of course, if he gets up. Unfortunately, it'll be a tainted cape, but a tainted cape is better than no cape, you know? Manhunting cat. This cat is now departed the earth. The shuttle is just gonna... Just go, go ahead. If you get him, great. If you don't, you don't. Um, yeah, it'll be tainted, but, you know. You get what you can. You get what you can. Mm, extreme break risk. Colonists need beds. We don't have beds. That's fine. Got that. Okay. All right. This is how they pen needed. Oh, we have Newton. We have a new chinchilla who's decided to join us. Uh, we could... Oh, no. He'd always been there. Oh, damn it. He got away. Wait a second. Yeah, he did. Uh, he picked himself up. All right. It's fine. We have a freeholder title. Not that we could really do anything with it. Freeholder title or not, we'll get a cape eventually. Hmm. Hmm. I hadn't really considered this, but the fire is actually mitigated in spreading by the river here. Another reason, yet again, to build your home adjacent to a river. So great. Hey, Raging Viking Rampage, thanks very much. Hey, Sean, Fallen Shogun, how are you, brother? Couldn't I have just made him drop it like a regular person? Unfortunately, I can't because he's the visitor. Otherwise, you would, right? You know? The trees are burning. Yeah, but at the same time, those aren't really like the trees near us. So we don't really care about them. Like, if they were the trees on this side of the river, I'd probably do something of upsetment. But, you know, it's also letting nature take its course. And we've also been... Oh, crap, I forgot to recruit this guy. That's not so bad. 14 resistance. Though nobody's really particularly good at social here. This guy is really a more valuable researcher than any of our colonists, however. Will someone go talk to him? He's just lying there. He also has an ambrosia addiction, which... Uh... That's not good. A really a, a very bad substance to be addicted to in this game, especially just because it's so difficult to, to get it. Um... Hmm, I'm wondering... Alright, yeah, we'll try to keep him prisoner until he gets over it. Or, I mean, inevitably, we probably will. Now, are you upset by the forest burning? Tree speaker apparel... Trees defaced. Yeah, but that wasn't us. Tree speaker apparel. Cape. That's good. Well, fine. Honestly, I'm finding these colonists far more stable than most of the other ones that I'd seen. And I didn't really even do all that much micromanaging when I started them. It's just sad to watch all those woods go, especially when our area is so nice. We could always just replant them over there, right? <laughs> My god, it's so bad. Oh crap, it's on a this side of the, uh, ooh. Um. Be a great time for some rain now. I'm actually surprised that rain didn't kick in. Usually if it covers this much of the map in fire, rain kicks in. Upsidaisy, uh. Upsidaisy. Be a great time for some rain now. No. Well, ass. All right, uh, okay, just get some sleep before we have to beat out the fire. There's far too much fire for us to really do anything with. Just get everybody out of bed. There we go. Just prevent it from hitting our beautiful home. Good. Good enough. Good enough. This is what happened in California, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, good enough. Good enough. 
Uh, all right, there we go. There's the rain. Now it's kicked in after it destroyed almost half of the environment. Yeah, I would say that's about half. Amazing. Oh, crap! The Garanlin tree is on fire! <laughs> what are they? Why did they just ignore this? Dude, the tree went on fire. The tree is... <laughs> Don't let the tree burn. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. How did that even happen? This is like the burning bush, Jesus. Oh, God. No, they're just ignoring it. <laughs> Please stop ignoring that. This isn't automatically made into part of the home area. It's like the most precious thing to them in the colony. How could they do that? Oh, thank God. I I didn't realize. Apparently, that's something they haven't coded in yet. I suppose that the Garenland, the spot where you plant the Garenland tree, automatically get, becomes part of the home area. Of course, I want the Garenland tree. I want it probably more than several of my colonists' lives combined. Absolutely. Hmm. I think. Uh, let's just kind of like review the whole scenario as we've gone so far from the beginning. Thought we would. Uh, thought we would actually be able to put up a few more structures from the beginning. I found that I've been just kind of stalling a lot. We have a crap load of rice. So much rice. More than I really know what to do with. But the problem is that I can't really get on any bigger, like, projects, you know? All I could do before was gather up stones. But since none of my colonists were very good at research, I can't gather up stones anymore. We're halfway through the research. I'm honestly just going to go ahead and make another uh, research bench. I don't know why I didn't make this thing larger. I think I'll just give them another... I'm going to give them another private room for research. Just because I want it to look like that. Judge me. Um, do we even have... We don't even have enough wood. Can't even do that. Quite sad. So until you unlock stone cutting, you really can't do anything. All right, we'll just let them be sad in the rain overall. Um, I'm trying to think of... Because, like I said, you know, I did Neckbeardism. Neckbeardism was a fine colony. Neckbeardism was actually quite powerful. Perhaps more powerful than a normal Rimworld colony. Um, I liked it. I thought it became a little too vanilla after a while, and I kind of wanted mods back. I feel as though this is like a modded playthrough, to be honest with you. But I also feel like it... It would be more interesting if RimWorld were more like Kenshi in that you could make people into martial artists or something like that, you know. Um, make our ascetics... I mean, these guys are essentially living like ascetics, like the ultimate ascetics. They don't mind living outdoors. But it'd be interesting if we could convert that into some other kind of personal mastery. Like right now, all they really do is sit around planting trees all day. There's no special... Like they can't... I don't know, they can't uh, learn martial arts or something like that. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Oh, there's stuff we could do. Could we plant berries? I don't know. Uh, we could plant, like, strawberries or something like that. Like, become a big strawberry pie exporter. Hey, Jacob, thanks very much. Much appreciated. Though they're decent fighters. I think a lot of it largely comes back to what types of colonists you pick. This is the saddest looking man. Ah, uh, you know, actually, another thing that I thought of, though is that this colony probably lends itself pretty well to just taming a lot of wildlife. Since we can't kill wildlife, I don't know why I didn't think of taming them before this. Um, is there anything that produces eggs? Because I don't believe that they have any problem with eating eggs. Boom rats, tortoises, red foxes, grizzly bears, muffalo. Muffalo, unfortunately, can't be milked anymore. Now, there's not really anything that produces a meaningful animal product to this region. We could get muffalo for the uh, Arctic, but I, I wouldn't really care to do that. Only something that can be milked, um, like an emu or a cow. Cows are are by far the best rumor of the animal now, I think. Um, I, th I believe that they produce more food than they, than they use. We'll leave Lurcher there to get the research done. Okay, everybody, kill that man. 
Yes, good. Love that. Good, we'll get the melee people in the front. Might be able to kite him again, but I, I don't think that this guy is so dangerous. All he's got is a... What is that? A slate sword? What did he even have with him? Oh no, a steel equa. My bad. Alright, leave him there. He deserved it. Great. Alright, let's go back. Let's go back. Hmm. Quite calm, quite peaceful. And yet, you know, we're at peace with nature. I'm just trying to think of how else we could develop outside of this. We'll need this man to be converted so that we can get a decent researcher. Um, we'll probably move all of these stones out of his room. But uh, at the very least, you know, a lot of the time in RimWorld, I find that uh, stuff that I do is very makeshift, very fast. At the very least here, I'm going to go ahead and spend more time planning things. And we're, we'll get more of like a room structure going, which we don't frequently get. I'm trying to think about whether I would even mind stone flooring. Uh, let's put like other rooms out here because we aren't really going to use some of this stuff. Uh, we don't have any more wood. Yep, we just got nothing. All right, I, I guess we just wait now. Uh, don't even don't even build that door because there, there's nothing there to build. How long is this way? Okay, okay so we've got another 1.7 days for the dryad, but at least now we're getting some cotton. So, oh crap, Newton is, uh, I don't really care about Newton, he's just a chinchilla, he's not really going to do anything for us. Um, is anyone bonded to this animal? It is roaming, but it's not bonded to anybody. Quite honestly, I think we're better off getting rid of it before it bonds to somebody, that would just be quite bad. Get yaks and temperate, they're almost as good. Yaks would be okay. Did I say... Oh, I said emus. Sorry, I meant yaks. Why do I always confuse emus and yaks? Probably because of the three letters. I guess we could have cannibal vegans, though. That'd be kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and... Mm, plant pots. We could just plant plants everywhere. Can't really even... You can't really build anything. Um, What we will be able to do in a couple of days... Art bench, also not really that feasible. Let's see the crafting spot. Maybe a crafting spot would be more feasible. We'll put that in there. Okay, now what can we make here? Can we craft anything out of... Ah, uh, here we are. Now we can make some items for ourselves out of cotton. What I really need is a, is a tailoring table. Mm. No, I think, I think right now we're just kind of stuck in a waiting loop. We'll give him time. We'll give him time. And in the meantime, we'll just plant more fields. Okay, so we do have more room up here. I think the fiber corn is really going to be the main thing that limits us. So let's go ahead and make an entire other growing zone for fiber corn. There we go. And food quickly has become a non-issue. So we were starving at the beginning, but now that's just no longer a thing. Uh, we'll just shrink that back one... There we go. I think we're not adjacent to anything. Uh, look at how quickly they got it. God, I didn't even have a chance to do that. Fibercorn. Redo all of that. That's all of the fertile soil. Fibercorn is decent in fertile soil just because it does take a while to grow. I'm now starting to see. So that's mostly fertile. So I feel I feel great peace with nature now. Ah, oh, No one has had a mood break either. Seems like now that I now that I get to it, it seems like it'd be a decent colony for beginners to play on as well. I mean, assuming that they were reading all of the text, just because there's so many things to kind of take account of in this game. Hmm. Rather mess with an emu than a yak. Uh, emus they lay eggs though too, right? So you you could eat the eggs. Well, we don't have anything on the map that lays an egg, do we? Otherwise, we could use that. Guinea pigs? No, that's live births. We'd have to eat people. I mean, guinea pigs. Uh, cougars, I'm pretty sure those don't lay eggs. Boomalope. Boomalopes, we actually might be able to tame for their... Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's let them attack. Because, I mean, if the animals go crazy... I mean, who doesn't love a boomalope attack? Look, Barco's like right there. He's like, I'm on it. 
Yeah, I say let them explode. Boomalopes are a massively inefficient animal if you have to feed them from your own crops. But what else? Yeah, right on it. Is this guy like some kind of master animal tamer? He's pretty good, yeah. He's just petting them. Look at that. Okay, this is great. Now we can have them all uh, wander off somewhere. <laughs> he tamed two of them in like 20 minutes. This guy just goes out with some seeds in his hand and he comes... No suitable pen. Okay, well, what we can do is this. Uh, do we have like 18 wood or something? We don't have any wood. Yeah, I've never felt so limited for resources, but it is forcing me to be kind of creative. Um, let's go ahead and create another stockpile zone. Yep, in your bedroom. Uh, we're going to just allow uh, everything except for weapons. We don't want this guy getting his hands on any weapons. Um, we have nowhere else to stockpile. There's so many limited resources here. Yep, just put everything with this man. At least he won't starve either, you know. Ah, he'll love us in a few days. What is his resistance at now, anyway? 11.7 to 11.4, because his room is just a giant pile of garbage. Hideous environment. Ambrosia withdrawal. Yeah, buddy, we've got to get him over it. He's at 92% away from the withdrawal, anyway. Uh, let's see. We will do... Let's go, go ahead and do fiber corn again. Kind of crazy. It's like they don't care about the fiber corn, but they care about a potato? Odd, if you ask me. Oh, well, anyway, what we do want to do is this. When you can't get a pen, which Jimmy and I kind of learned the last time that we played, it was really me. I, I messed this one up. Just make one of your rooms into a pen by doing this. Oh, we're getting raided again. Though, to be quite honest, probably one of the more thrilling moments of the day. I don't think any of these people have much on us. Although we're non-violent, we're fully capable of using our hands, of throwing our hands at people. Or how does the expression go to throw hands at someone? That's what we do. Yeah, we could get rid of the corners. I just didn't want to subject you guys to the atrocities of uh, RimWorld constructions without corners on them. I think that would be cruel and unusual. No, I like the way that they are right now. I, lo I love them, in fact. I love them. And what could? how much worse could it be than hideous? That's as bad as it gets, right? So, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not going to change any of that. Okay, here they come. Here they come marching in. Uh, and a, and a really kind of a weird path, to be honest with you. What are you? You're a bowman? All right. Uh, at least we have Lurkum there. Lurkum is absolutely atrocious at shooting, it, it seems. All right. Get him. Get him, people. Oh, no. Please don't. Please don't let anything happen to the dog. Hit him, hit him. Fire, there we go, okay. And... Go at him, get him. There we go, no risk of... Oh my god, they just took him right down. Now, the great part about this is that eventually when we can... My god, no, I didn't mean to put corpses in there. Uh, hang on a second. No corpses, no corpses. They were like, we know what to do with these. <laughs> now, we'll give them a grave somewhere just... Sad. Uh, all the way out here. Because they don't deserve a normal... Ah, yes! Fiber corn growth! Over. Fantastic. Great, okay. Now we've got those two bodies. Boomalope Revenge. Ooh! Exciting now! Okay, we've got the Boomalope Revenge coming on. Alright, now I, I don't believe that that herd is uh, running. So, Wombat, are you decent? No, you have a club. Lurkum, you're going to be the one we depend on for this. Uh, you're going to want to get far away, Barco. Nice and far away. Okay, Lurkum's going to shoot that thing. I, I knew it would be exciting to hunt Boomalopes. If you don't know what's going to happen, you'll find out in a couple of minutes. Uh, actually, let's get him away from these trees. Uh... <laughs> Actually, the, those shots are quite accurate. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, good. Okay, uh, not good. Let's call that our home. Everywhere is our home. All right, good. 
uh, well, not good, but kind of good, though. That boomalope was evil. And now we can use it for a meal. I would not, personally, I would not eat boomalope meat. It just doesn't seem like a good idea. Is this ours? Yes, Sabbath. We can have a whole farm of those deadly animals. Ah, and what a joy it will be. It's going to break his will. If it, yeah, you know, maybe he'll join us out of terror if we get them out. We've already got him over his addiction. Hideous environment. Maybe we'll just accept these rock chunks uh, being out in the open. In fact, you know, let's just separate off his room. We'll, we'll create him an actual prison cell now that we have some wood. Um, yeah. Hmm. If I were a prison cell, what would I be? I'm, I don't even care about those boomalops anymore as much as this prisoner. Mm, we got to be creative and combine walls. Okay, tree, you're going. You're out of here, tree. Get out of here, you. Nobody wants you anyway. Um. Yeah, we'll make this into like one large... Uh, compound. Oh, love the word compound. You could use that anytime you want over here. Yeah, let's just subdivide this randomly into a bunch of different rooms. This is how my old colonies used to be anyway, was I would just create one large wood superstructure. Eventually it would burn down, unfortunately, but it seems like that's inevitably what we're headed toward now anyway, so. Uh, by all means, let's just get to the exciting conclusion. Mm, your bed will go. Yes, it will. Good. Okay, you, you. I think you can more or less see the idea we're getting at here. Though there's something kind of pleasing about having a larger wooden superstructure. Mm, why do I store the chunks indoors? Mainly because... Uh, I, Mainly because I can't create anything. I don't stand by any of the architectural decisions I've made right now. But that's mainly because I don't have a building. It would be like asking an architect sitting on the sidewalk, like, Hey, your skyscraper sucks. It's like, thanks, I don't have any steel. Like, you know. I'm just a man, guys. I'm just a vegan. I'm trying not to upset my vegans. What is this? This thing looks terrifying. It looks like Weedle. Contains immature dryad one, time left 4.5 days, so. So uh, after it takes a week for it to sprout, then it takes, what, another four and a half days? It seems like a lot of waiting to me. Group of poor travelers are looking for help. The travelers are begging for seven herbal medicine. They need the medicine to accept a life-saving. Uh, you can have items. Yeah, we'll do that. Um. Okay. Take it. Take it all. Take all of the medicine. Oops. Uh. Lurkum, so far you've done the most. Keep doing it. Beggars are leaving with the requested items. That's all. I don't know why I'm asking for... S oh, because we... Hey, they started fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Does one of them have a cape? No, nah, nobody has a cape. These people are dumb. This is why people hate RimWorld. <laughs> this is great. I gave him the medicine. Oh, one guy, wh why did he even... Wait a second, what is the social tab? Alec I gotta understand what just happened. Some beggars came in looking for medicine. Everybody hated this lady. Her, was her name Alligator? Her name was Alligator. They chatted about hairstyles. Uh, then she told him a joke about fighting muggers. And then she he derided her open-mindedness. This drove her into a rage, and she began a fight. She destroyed his big right toe. His right big toe. And then he killed her. This is RimWorld. Travelers betrayed. Who they were seeking my charity have been betrayed. Colonists with charitable beliefs will be unhappy. Why were they betrayed? Because they killed themselves after I gave them everything that they needed? This is dumb. 
but I kind of love that. That's that. That was enough. Enough happened there for me to just call it like a like a worthwhile playthrough, which is rare, you know, which is rare. It's a weird quest. I think it's it's mainly related to ideology. Um, and yeah, check out that guy with just the psycho it leaves sitting there. Okay, great. He got over his ambrosia addiction. That was good. While he was still in prison. So now he won't be quite as upset. He's still pretty upset, but he hasn't really... Uh, he's just kind of like learning to live among us, you know? Hideous environment, ate raw food. Yeah, but get used to it, bub. All right, we've been waiting for a trader for a long time. Wombat, go ahead and trade. Unfortunately, it's an exotic goods trader. Fortunately... We have a lot of boomalopes that I don't really particularly care about. Um, we have a turkey? Actually, turkeys could lay eggs. We might end up using that. Uh, I'm not bonded to this boom rat, though. Boom rats are basically just bombs. Doomsday rocket launcher would be exciting. Do what else do we have? Kidneys, eyes, plasteel, glitter world medicine. I wish we had more use for some of this stuff. I'll probably just spend it on components. Telescope. Tele telescope. Can we get a big screen TV? Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and buy components with it. How much can we buy? All of them. Okay. Advanced one, two. No, nah, I'm not going to buy the advanced. It's just not going to be as useful to us right now. Very well. Male turkeys don't lay eggs, I know, but what if we get a female turkey? Then we could get more turkeys. Then we could have a turkey farm. That's what we did on the re uh, on the release. <laughs> this is like the most <laughs> American way of me to say that. On the release day, we made a turkey. That is also kind of an American thing to have, a turkey farm. You know, Thanksgiving and all of that. I used to live next door to a bunch of turkeys when I was in college. You just see them out there. They were huge. They were just asking to be dinner. Yeah, it would be much better to have uh, bulk goods trader, though. We still have not had any of that. Uh, there we go, though. It's the last of the w most of the last of the wood that we need. Before you know it, this guy's going to be one of us. Recruit 10.4. That's not really going very fast at all. Uh, I might even just kill a tree. To be quite honest with you, I, I think my colonists' mental stability is worthless right now, and we'd just be better off cutting down a few of these trees. I'm going to do that. How many of them? Be? There's so many trees that are just asking to be cut down right now. What? You would fight? You both deserve to be... Public execution! All right, what happened? Did he... Yeah, why does everyone in this world destroy each other's toes? He's 67. How old is she? This is not appropriate. All right, we're looking into this. Bloodlust. A bloodlusting vegan. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Nilero offered a backhanded compliment about Lurkham's honesty. This drove Lurkham into a rage, and she began fighting. <sighs> no. I won't allow it. There's no suitable pen. Okay, well, we don't care about those animals anyway. We're going to cut down trees. I know it's unvegan like of us, but we really need a room right now. This guy has to live. I don't know why he's upset. He sleeps next to a bunch of jade. That would be very nice. Not assigned to plant cutting. Is anyone assigned to... Nalero... Pay for your sins by cutting down this tree. You will be the one to... I don't know why I did that. That was probably going to make him even more upset. I'm just going to have him do a lot of things that he hates at once, right in a row. Do it. I'm like Darth Sidious. Do it. <laughs> but, it's just, but it's just a vegan with a piece of meat or something. Oh, God. Oh, God, what have I done? I'm going to keep doing it. I think... Uh, to be fair, it would be easier to play as these guys if you had access to more material or more traders. Okay, we're going to move this prisoner out of this room and into another room because... Screw him. 
uh, build a copy in there. You don't sleep in here anymore. We're going to make this your prison room. Uh, he's eating. Don't let him. There we go. All right, he's much better off now. We'll light up this other room. Okay, be happy, or else. Uh, he could use a table. Let's go ahead and make this room actually somewhat pleasant now. Fortunately, since my colonists don't do anything, I can give them a bunch of menial labor and they get it done in a matter of seconds. Fascinating. Look at them smoothing the rock. They have nothing to do for most of the day. Uh, they need more wood. Okay, who's going to cut down another tree? We're going to destroy a bunch more trees before this is all over. Nolero, your first volunteer. Ah, a gift from Dwaya Fafia. There we are. Ah, good. Look at all these people with uh, assault rifles. Very vegan to cut down trees for this. I know, it'd be nice if they, like, if they had some doctrine that allowed them to replenish the trees. Oh, crap, we're actually getting now even worse. Trees damaged. Okay, everybody get ready for them to go crazy. I wouldn't mind a catharsis or two here, though. I, I think it's worth it for one room. Because if we could get crocodile, then we could get research going faster. That's the whole point of this, is just drive them all crazy at the beginning. Though I suppose if you wanted to start off a better vegan colony, you'd be better off in a later era where you had more technologies research. Like, they don't know how to cut stones right now. The, the fact of the matter is that early humans were hunter-gatherers, right? Isn't that a thing? That they hunted as well as gathered, not just gatherers. Unless if, you know, it was they just really liked berries. No, they needed some meat. Now it's kind of a, or nowadays it's sort of a luxury to be able to be a vegan in a couple of ways because it's not always, and there are exceptions to this, of course, but yet sometimes a vegan lifestyle can be somewhat expensive, no? Ah, uh, hit him. <laughs> hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Why would he come back to fight? That just seems very... Get him. Wait a second, weren't those two just fighting? Okay, hang on a second. We have a lot of uh, shit we have to get to the bottom of right now. Fortunately, no one was brutally maimed. Okay, now, to me, this is... He, she just destroyed his big toe. And then he told her, I love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. He had never been so touched by someone. So let's just go through social. He offered a backhanded compliment about her honesty. Then she went crazy and destroyed his big toe. He hit her a lot too after that. Then they're commenting about savory foods and short people and onions. And then he sold her right after the comment about onions. He said, I love you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The, I've never seen this lopsided a colonist relationship where he loves her so much. Wait a minute. Does he love her or does she love him? Lover harmed me. <laughs> This is like Anakin and Palpatine. Jesus. We drove this guy within a few feet of death. That's a toxic relationship if I ever saw... Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I, I think we're going to be done with research before we get this guy. You know, it's, not a, it's not a colony if you don't have some kind of uh, crap going on. Let's go ahead and give them a double bed, though. Are they... Nope, that's... Why didn't you get into your double bed? You love her, don't you? I don't even know who loves who. Let's just give them all double beds because they all belong in the dirt. There we go. I want to sleep in the dirt next to my lover. Okay, so nobody likes each other. I, I was right. Fantastic. Ah, raw foods. Uh, all of this. All right. Things are going a little bit better now, aren't they? Malaria. Right on, right on cue. 
What a great time for some malaria. Yorkshire Terriers. Okay, uh, I don't think we're going to live if we don't accept this person. So Beto, we're going to join. Uh, hopefully, Beto knows how to cure malaria. We have one, two, yes, that's right, three malarias. Lurcha, you have malaria. You should not be playing right now. You fool. Beto joins. Are you a doctor? Right on cue. Incapable of violent is fine. You can have all the vegans do the fighting for you. Turns out to not even be a vegan is just into dutiful philosophy. I think that might be my ideology, uh, IRL. Dutiful philosophy. Okay, here come the Yorkshire Terriers. Terrifying, I know, but uh, my god, these people are not looking too good. Alright, get them out. This is starting to look a lot more like my original RimWorld colonies. Unfortunately, she's going to need an actual bedroom. She's tending to Wombat. Okay. We can let the Yorkshire Terriers just come here. Do your worst, Terriers. Yeah. Hmm. She's feeding people. Okay, that's fine. We have a Labrador at the door. See what I did there? Oh, yeah, you do. Uh, it's only minor malaria. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Uh, you get out of bed, too. We have two more. I just, I gotta take care of these Yorkshire Terry. You can keep going. We just gotta take them down before they really cause any major damage to us. Good. Okay, stop them. You get in the back. Good, keep the shooters on the side. Yeah, all right, that's enough. Uh, not so scary. Okay, the Yorkshire Terriers have started several fires, though. Jesus. This is really not a... I was correct. This is not a good colony. Though, fortunately, she's a goddess of social. So social. So many friends you have, Beto, except now she's going to be very upset. Though she won't be annoyed by... Oh, but she has to live with them in the colony, like, and respect the trees, despite the fact. She's, like, an unwilling roommate of people with every different type of dietary restriction. And as a result, she can't eat anything because she got nothing. Um, we could have her sleep with the prisoner, though I think I'd rather have her just sleep in the intellectual room. Welcome to the intellectual room. I don't really need you to do that. Beto, you know, you don't do any of that. You can just... Uh, she won't... Um... No, I don't really need you doing that. I really just need you wardening. You could cook, too, if you're good at that. Uh, she's not a very good cook. No cooking. I take it back. I, I just don't need anyone on that. I need a warden and a doctor. These people are all going to die of malaria. This is kind of like the right ending for this colony, though. You know, like they believed so much in nature, and now they're going to be part of it when they die of malaria. All right. Hmm. Beto? Yeah, good. You're fine, you're fine. Um, I had a feeling I should have taken some of that Glitter World medicine, but alas... Can we get them beds in time? No, we can't even get them beds in time because they don't believe in cutting down the trees that they'll need for a bed. Gotta say that this has just been a thrillingly bad Rimworld colony. You're better, you're Lurcha. It's great, just take care of that minor malaria with that terrible tent. Yep, they're, they are actually going to die if I don't do anything. Um... Uh, Turkey 1 is roaming away. I've got bigger fish to fry, though. We don't even have bed technology. Gonna go ahead and say that... Like, no technology vegans... Are all... Some of the perfectly worst colonists... I have ever experienced. I do not like playing these people. It's funny to play for about an hour, and then it's just very fresh. <laughs> This is very, very frustrating after that. Nothing wrong with, uh, you know, maybe like futuristic transhumanist uh, veganism in RimWorld. But it's just so difficult to play. Are you milking that? Yeah, good. She's 
I don't even know what she's doing. How long did we make it in this colony for? Almost two hours before I'm starting to get kind of fed up with these people. I guess we'll start to convert people of other ideologies. Uh, can we salvage this colony in any way? Only because I'm thinking we could bring them inside, sure, but we'd have to take up the prisoner's whole room. I certainly did not manage this very well, but also too, like... I think I would have made them a bunch of tiny rooms looking back. Just because I forget about how many things I need in a RimWorld colony. Like with whatever wood we could have gotten our hands on. That's what I would have, that's what I would have changed from the beginning. Uh, and I also would have just cheated myself in stone cutting research because it's too difficult to do it without. Uh, are you, can you possibly get him in here fast enough? No, we can't. Um... Hmm. Okay, no more research. We're just going to do the research outside. And we're going to go ahead and move everybody's bed inside. Everybody sleeps in one room inside now. So I think this is my only shot because this room is somewhat clean. Until I have all of them sleeping in it like this. Uh, it's my, really my only shot of having them develop any immunity. Though we could also make bed rolls as well. We'll go ahead and do that. Bedroll, 40 cloth. It's better than nothing. Wanted to use this for other stuff, but... Boomalope is running away. I don't care about the boomalopes. Malaria. Do you have malaria? You don't have malaria. Work on that bed, dude. Let's just let them all die. Latest colony was transhumanist. Figure out what colonists are super dumb and suicide. I mean, the thing is that if you can get one really overpowered colonist, they can pretty much carry them through it. But these people, I think that their ideology just kind of holds... This will sound a little bit cliched, but it holds back the way of progress. They can't really do much of anything. Um, not assigned... Who is our constructor? Not assigned to constructing. Not assigned to constructing. And I, I just took pretty, like, average colonists for this as well. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that, then that. You don't have a bed, now sleep in a bed roll. We at least got decent quality on these. Do we have enough? We do have enough cloth for other bed rolls. Okay, we actually got them bed rolls. So that is something. One, two, three, four, five. We have six colonists, though, and we could get the other guy another bed roll, too. So I'm just going to do one in there. All right. Are they going to live? 38%. Okay, this guy actually might live only because Beto came in here, but that was just random at the last minute. Okay, this guy's going to live too. And who is our last one? We can also turn off self-tending now. I believe it was Lurkum who was on self-tend. Nope. Nope. Oh, no, Lurch. Oh, we have a Lurch uh, and a Lurkum. I didn't even know. That's crazy. and build that good good we got good qu well quite literally good we have good quality on that excellent wow we got very lucky on these excellent quality and all the other ones i think that only does comfort bo bonus and boosts but at least they'll be able to go around from camp to camp i just start a colony is quite stable too much really but don't have a gold is just survive. the thing is that I feel like that they're surviving, but they aren't really progressing. You know what I mean? Like, they're surviving, their moods are great. Because we're doing all the things that we set out to do. Because I'm decent at the game. But I, I don't feel like that they're really making any meaningful progress. You go in there so that you like us more. Please like us more. It's not that hideous anymore. It was only regular raw food. I mean, they do have a copious amount of food as well. But now three of them are going to die of malaria. But we'll live. This one will probably live because the 10 quality was good. And this one had terrible 10 quality. Lurcha might actually die. Lurcha may die. And Beto is in a daze. But at least they'll be friends before they die. Yeah. Lurcha, were you really that important to our colony? You were quite important to our colony. But you had creepy breathing, so did we really need you? 
7.8% uh, 10 quality. Mm. I think I'm just going to have only Beto be the doctor from now on. Uh, if she, Assuming that she's not... Assuming that she stops being crazy before this is all over. Barco? I guess Barco can. Mm, nah, I'm just going to have everybody do it. I can't really wait here. Okay, 37%. Might live. Probably not. Whatever. I'm just going to let it automate. 44% quality. The only one that's going to die is Larcha. All right. Maybe she had an animal bonded to her. Or he? He has a beard. Yeah, it's a he. Good. Lurcha. All right. Barco is going to die too now. Nah, not really feeling it. Not assigned to constructing. Can we arrest everyone? And unfortunately, like I said, if you can't progress, you eventually just kind of die. Into the, the thing is that all of your threats are so futuristic and crazy. We get mechanites, fibrous mechanites, and every kind of possible thing go wrong. Malaria on three was pretty bad. And the day's doctor is not helping at all. Yes, we have raw food, but we also just had everybody go kind of crazy in the colony. I, I think that this is about exactly what I would expect from the colony, though. As also, is because we chose these types of dryads first. If I were to do this again, I probably would have done wood ones, but I'm not even sure that that would have saved us. Yeah, this still isn't even a dryad yet, so this still is so long from making anything. You need some kind of like early game bone thrown your way, whether that's a trader or whatever it is, because now everybody's eating raw food, they're gonna get sick, and they're just gonna die. Ah, Jesus. Hey, Kavus, Kavus Live, thanks very much for the sub. I don't know, I feel like I was hoping to get a colony worth playing for a couple more, but a little bit, I feel like I might just, is there, can we do anything to salvage it? Because otherwise, I'm willing to just call it like a one failed experiment if they do die. Let's just check on their malaria. Once more, Barca will live. Wombat will live. All hail Z Frog. Mm. What are you talking about? Oh, Mr. Bob, thank you very much. Of course, I'm kidding. Mm. Oh, you don't have anything wrong with you? Lurch, uh, you're probably going to die. Actually, might not. If Beto recovers... Who is our next best doctor? Yes, this is what you're supposed to do in RimWorld when you're looking for a doctor. It's one of the few tasks that's really worth micromanaging. Uh, okay, Barco, you are tending. Oops. Yeah, doctor being dazed didn't really help anything. We could have beat up the doctor. That would have been good. But I don't. I feel like that's kind of cheap to do that. You know. The one, th the one exception here though is that if if we get to like ninety nine and a hundred percent, it can still happen. Alero, that should be fine because Barco will probably live. Yeah, the only one here is this one's gonna die. Uh, well. Either way, we had too many colonists to begin with as well. Like, you don't really want that many. Hmm. Yeah, the male the male this is the reason I don't like to play with diseases. Or another reason I don't play on losing is fun is because getting sick just kind of kills the playthrough. It's like everybody just does nothing for a few days. What would be cool is if you had some kind of trait where overcoming a disease gave you better immunity. I think that would be a really more rewarding system because otherwise getting a disease is just no good for your playthrough. Um, it just uses up resources. It's not really that much fun. Uh, unless if we get some glitter world medicine off of these cave people, in which case that would be completely awesome. Let's go find out. I was thinking that I should have said it before only herbal med. We already have tons of herbal med. Oh no, that's our herbal medicine. Yeah, we'll sell them all of our garbage steel. Actually, the steel from the steel weapons might be more valuable to us. Uh, we'll sell the ambrosia because I don't really use it. Uh, just because it's not naturally... Uh, well, it is naturally occurring, but it's not, like, available. 
I tend not to rely on it. You know, like you can't just decide I'm gonna grow a ambrosia one day. Uh, otherwise though, I just think that this wasn't really that much fun to play. Um, I probably won't come back and try to do it again. I would if I had like some kind of wrapper around the colony that made it easier to play. Like if I had futuristic, like they start off with a thousand steel and they can build a, an entire base out of steel. I feel like that that would make this scenario more fun or maybe if there's a mob that lets them take down trees and then replant them and be happy with that. Though at the same time, maybe I was just too squeamish about cutting down trees, I don't know. Hey, I wanted to play it right, so. Hey, Montage, thanks very much for the prime. Kind of reached after the colony got wiped. You could start over the same map and sim possibly build a greenhouse with ambrosia and preserve it. I had not thought of that. Does ambrosia, like, replant itself? Well, I had not really thought of that. Okay, Beto is not crazy anymore. This is, like, my last chance for this colony. Yeah, Lurch is going to die, like, now. Everybody else overcame it. Could have micromanaged it a little bit more, but I was just feeling kind of like this isn't really happening. So as far as this thing goes, this creature is injured. It will return to its... So I believe that we need two of these things, but that also depends on pretty much giving up one of your colonies. Like indefinitely. Lurcha died. Mm, I don't know. Overall, I... I could think of some colonies with it, but I just don't really feel like that there's any outcome from being a vegan. I don't know. My current one is zombies. I'm doing a zombie playthrough, so that's probably going to be getting posted in the next couple of days. But I think I am going to leave it there because it just... I, I didn't really feel like there was much to do in this playthrough. Maybe if I see another example of one that makes it more interesting, but I think we'll call it there. It was interesting to give it a try. Now I kind of get these mechanics a little bit more. I was hoping I could get like a longer sort of playthrough out of it. But it just didn't really feel like that they were producing much. And it felt like it was taking too long for stuff to get going, you know? Um, and it just seems like it would be a lot of planting for not that much fun.